Today we're going to talk about the best Facebook ad unit for generating new page likes. Let's do it. Hey everybody, John from JohnLimber.com here and John Limber Digital on Facebook here with another edition of my video blog. Going to do things a little bit differently this week. Uh, I think going forward as well, going to try a little bit different format. Generally, I answer three, four, five, six questions, string it out, 10 to 20 minutes. We're not going to do that anymore. We get a little bit more focused. So still once a week, uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, I will post this on my page, ask me anything. And at that point, it's your opportunity to ask me any question you have regarding Facebook marketing, content marketing, running your business online, etc. Okay. But the difference is I'm only picking one and it's going to be my theme of the video blog we're going to keep it nice and short and to the point i know you want it you asked for it all right so you'll get it let's get to today's question comes from aaron he asks hey john what are you seeing as the best ad unit right now for gaining new fans i know you wrote about the promoted page ad recently but i still don't have that option available on my page are you seeing best results on desktop or mobile thanks in advance so yes, Aaron, great question. Um, so yeah, I wrote a blog post recently. I'll, I'll give you the link to that in my, my uh, show notes um, about this new feature called Promoted Page. And it's been around for a couple months, maybe three months even, um, but not everybody has it. And what it is, if you go on your admin panel, you'll see it. Uh, it says Get More Likes widget. It's really simple. I call it Promoted Page. I don't know if Facebook has an official term for it. I haven't seen it. But it's essentially just like a promoted post, but instead of uh, automatically creating a really easy cookie cutter campaign to increase reach and engagement, this is all about increasing your number of page likes. Okay, so just one quick click, it generates a campaign that has three ads in it. What I found, um, and again, I don't even have this within all my pages, okay? But what I found with this is that um, it, within those three ad units, there was one that was especially effective that went on mobile only. I could not recreate this ad. Um, I tried. I went into Power Editor, but there are various things about that ad that I cannot recreate. So that said, that one ad unit, I'm getting around 27 cents per like. It's up to you whether you think that's good or not. For me, considering my target audience is in the U.S., um, at least for this this campaign that targeted only at the U.S., that's pretty freaking good, okay? <laughs> I almost stumbled there. Because um, I was getting, uh, in a campaign I was doing for page likes with a uh, sponsored story, I was getting, I don't know, it was 50 to 60 cents a like. A campaign that I've been lo- running for a long time, so obviously the performance goes down as well. So to get 27 cents a like on a brand new campaign um, was pretty good. And it was going in mobile devices only. So, but that doesn't really answer your question. Your question was number one, uh, if you don't have that, what should you do? Okay, um, there are a couple things I would do. First of all, I would, I would definitely run that um, page like campaign, page like sponsored story. I find them to be very, suc- very successful because of the social element. Your friend likes this, you like it too. There's no hard sell in it. All it is is related to your, pay- your, your friend likes something and that's it. And it tends to be pretty effective. Um, but I would use that. I would consider using that in connection to, especially if you have an a, a established email list, uh, custom audiences. Uh, so then you can, what you can do is target fa- uh, excuse me, people on your email list who aren't currently your fans. So they're much more likely to want to like your page if they don't already because they already had a connection with you elsewhere. Um, and at that point, you could do the sponsored story or you could do the, the, the typical manual type ad that typically so, shows up on the right hand side. Um, so so that I would consider that. And the extension of that is if your email list isn't that large, consider lookalike audiences. In both of these things, custom audiences, lookalike audiences, I've written blog posts on. Again, show notes, I'll get you the links to those as well. So, uh, and then your question regarding is mobile, or uh, desktop more effective. I mean, with this ad in general, with the page like, uh, uh, excuse me, the promoted page campaign, that's all mobile, very effective. Um, in general though, what I try to do is I split test to see what works and what doesn't, because it's not all about which gets the most likes, depending on, on your strategy, right? But I'm all about cost per like, and the price for mobile tends to be higher. Um, and 
So it, it, it all it could balance out in the end to being the same. You could find out you get better bang for your buck for mobile. It could be desktop, could be desktop newsfeed. That's why you split test like crazy, my friend. So that's my advice. Like for anything else, um, don't take my word for it. Try it, experiment, split test. Okay. Final point, page likes. 27 cents per like, pretty good for me because I focus on the US. You can get probably three and a half cents if you focus on countries where it's cheap. Lots of bots, lots of crazy stuff going on, no quality. So your focus always needs to be on quality. The like itself has no value. Stop thinking in terms of, I need more likes. You need more quality people who care about your content. You don't need a number. Okay, so I hope that helps. Until next time, do awesome things. I'm out.